Hey there, Pixel here. Today I took a look at a game called Blightbound. So this game is by Ronimo Games, who made Awesome Knots and Swords and Soldiers and a couple other big ones. You've probably heard of some of their games that they've made. Anyways, so this one's coming out on the 29th of July into Early Access. It's in an open beta right now, so you'll be able to go and download this game today and play it for the next couple days if you get in early enough. And it's, it's not too bad of an experience. So let's get into what exactly the gameplay entails. So this is a little bit of an action RPG hack and slash game, but there is a few little twists that they have here. For one, this is a multiplayer only game. And you can play it local multiplayer, but it's mostly an online multiplayer game. Now you get a number of different classes. When you start out, you get three. You get an assassin class or rogue. You get a warrior tank class and you get a mage, which doubles as a cleric as well. That's kind of nice because oftentimes the cleric it's kind of a boring class to play because you're just the healer, but you get to double it up with the mage, and that makes it a little more fun. You're given a kind of standard fantasy fodder story that really just gets you into the dungeons where you're going to be playing through the same dungeons and kind of grinding through this game. You go in, you look for gold, you're looking for uh, level ups and equipment, and then you come back out to the main screen once you've either lost or won. You get to keep some of your loot regardless of if you win or lose. If you win, you're going to get better stuff. If you lose, you get just get to keep what you found. When you come back into the town, you can upgrade your characters with the level ups they have. You can equip the equipment that you have found. I haven't seen a store mechanic yet in the game, but one may be unlocked later. As you have successes and unlock new stuff, you get notoriety for your ability to go through the dungeons. And as your notoriety goes up, more things unlock. So there's a lot of this game that I haven't seen yet. I've only experienced the first hour or two, but it was enough to get a good feel. One of the interesting mechanics I found in this game was is that there was an incentive given when you ready up to go into battle again and find new players to play with. There's an incentive to not select a class and just let the game select the class for you. I'm sure that helps with the matchmaking, but it, it also gets you as a player more familiar with each of the player classes that you have. I think that was a kind of a, a cool little trick there. In my experience as well, I, I found that this game seems to be designed to be very difficult, but it does show that it's early access quite a bit in, in that the game is not particularly well balanced. I found that we lost probably more often than we would win. And when we lost, we didn't really feel, or at least I didn't really feel, as if it was my fault, or at least something that I could attribute it to. It seems like the losses were just, oh, well, we weren't high enough level. Oh, well, we didn't have enough equipment. They didn't feel like there was something else I could do. And I've, I've seen some people compare this game to a, a Souls game. And in those Souls games, generally when I would lose or when I would die, I could say, oh, it's because I didn't roll here or strike there. With Blightbound, it, I found that it is more of a hack and slash feeling game. And because of that, having it being so difficult doesn't really seem fair in the eyes of a player. I don't feel like I did something wrong. So I think that what needs to be done, and, and they get a little bit of a pass for this criticism, I think, because it's er about to be an early access. It needs to either have the skills of all the different characters be a little tighter, where it feels more like it's an action RPG, but also a little bit of a strategy game. Like, you have to know precise timings of various skills to more drastically impact the combat, or they're going to need to scale back the difficulty on the game so that it can just be more of a standard hack and slash. I'd, I'd rather the former rather than the latter because if you were to make it more of a skill based game as opposed to just a button masher, I think that would make it more appealing to new players. My real concern right now for this game is because it's just about to enter early access, it is a little rough around the edges. And I think that if players jump in now, I'm a little worried that since it's multiplayer only, and again, you can local multiplayer, but I'm 
I'm a little worried that this game will end up in a situation where it comes out and people kind of like, eh, it's okay, it feels kind of generic, and then it ends up cleaning up the problems that it has and becomes a really great game, but there's no player base left for them to actually enjoy the game. So I, I'm interested to see what happens with this one in the long run, but uh, overall I think people should definitely play it. You have two days to go play it for free. Go check it out on the Steam store as soon as you get done liking this video, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe do that because clearly you made it to the end of this video. It's been a good game. Uh, take a look for yourself. Until next time, this has been Pixel.